going on everyone today i'm going to show you how you can whitelist ip addresses in DigitalOcean for your droplets and one thing i want to mention before we start here is i've included my DigitalOcean referral link here and if you use this to make a DigitalOcean account you'll immediately get ten dollars worth of DigitalOcean credit which will get you their base server free for two months and I'll also put this link in the description if you don't have an account and you want to use that. So let's go ahead and jump in. So this tutorial is assuming you know how to make a droplet, you have a DigitalOcean account. So um, from here you can you can go up here to networking, the networking tab, or you can click on a DigitalOcean box and there will be a networking tab in there. So we'll just go up here for ease of use. And then we'll come over here to firewalls. And we don't have any firewalls right now, so we're going to create a firewall. We're going to give this a name like restricted access. And then down here we have our inbound and outbound rules. So right now, this is saying that anyone can SSH into this ser into whichever server is protected by this firewall, any IPv4 or v6 address. Um, so yeah, if we go over here and try to log in, this doesn't have any firewall yet. So we could see you could get right into that. And so let's go ahead and create a rule to just block that for an example. So we'll get rid of the any rule. And then down here, you can add your droplets to the firewall. So you can select multiple or a group of them, or you could just do one. So we're going to use one as an example and hit create firewall. So now this firewall is sitting in front of our uh, DigitalOcean droplet. And as it stands, we should not be able to SSH into this server. So as you see, it's blocked right now because we haven't whitelisted our IP. So to order to whitelist this, we can go ahead and, and say more edit. And we're going to add a source here. And we're going to add our IP. So first, let's get our IP. You can either, you know, Google for it. So like this. Or a nice thing I like to do is you can curl this website called ifconfig.pro. And that will just spit it out right here. So let's go ahead and copy that. And throw that in as a source. And then we're going to save it. So now with this rule created, only connections from this IP source are going to be allowed to SSH. So now we should be able to SSH back into this box. And there we go. So now it's protected saying this is the only IP allowed. So that's how you whitelist IPs for SSH and in general. So now if you wanted to add more rules, so let's say you have a web server running, you could go ahead and add an HTTP rule so let's say we just again just wanted us to be able to do that we could do that so any anything connecting over port 80 has to originate from this ip address so if you're doing a web server you're going to probably want to add http and https so a really good reason to do this is if you have a staging server um, and you're working on website development and you don't want anyone to see it but you need you need it publicly accessible to view it or just because you're using OAuth and redirect URLs and all that um, this is a perfect way to do this with a digital ocean firewall so it's super simple and this is how you whitelist for just any any port any you could do a custom port um, you can do a range of ports you can do um, a block of IP addresses. So let's say you're an organization and you owned 172, 12, 13, slash 24. So you could go ahead and do like a, oops, like a CIDR block and it accepts that. Um, so let's just get this in slash 24 add so now um, anything coming from 172.12.13 in 
the slash 24 is going to be allowed so you could allocate a whole block of IP addresses if you're an organization um, so this is super nice and again you can control outbound rules so um, so we could you know block ping ICMP um, there's a lot of things you can do but this is how you whitelist it's super simple if you're running a web server behind Cloudflare or something like that this isn't going to work because you would have to whitelist Cloudflare's IPs and when you do that you're essentially letting all traffic through so if you're if you have a server behind Cloudflare for some reason and you want to whitelist IPs then you're going to need to do that in Cloudflare itself um, but if you don't have anything like that sitting in front of your server then um, DigitalOcean's really their firewall super simple for that and I highly recommend it especially for SSH and stuff and another uh, use case for um, using like a uh, block of IPs is for example I have a VPN and when I connect to a specific location the VPN is like like this but it's actually a slash 24 so the IP address changes when I connect to it um, so I kinda just put in that slash 24 um, which helps instead of just letting all all IPs connect to it um, and again it's super simple it's I highly recommend doing it for SSH or just anything you want to protect it just adds that extra layer of security you definitely want to have multiple layers of security and this is just one of them so if there's anything else you guys want to see about this firewall or anything else about DigitalOcean please leave any suggestions or feedback in the comment and again if you want to that ten dollar credit this referral link will be in the description and I appreciate everyone watching if you enjoy the content I appreciate a like or a subscribe and I'm open to creating videos of any kind so if you have any ideas just go ahead and throw them in the comments so yep thanks for watching and have a good one